In this video, we'll cover utilizing outbound webhooks in Shape to seamlessly send data from Shape to another software. So first things first, you'll want to navigate to your settings and under apps and integrations, you will find manage webhooks. It'll bring you right here where you can see any webhooks you have set up as well as create a new one just by hitting new in the top right. Once you're here, all you'll do is give it a clear title, something that's easy to search by later. If you decide to set up a trigger, we'll wanna make sure that we can quickly search. So if we wanna send data from shape to Facebook, we can just put in shape to Facebook, something simple. The method can be post or get, depending on the requirement for where you are sending it. Most commonly it is post. Then set what you're sending. If you're sending a file, toggle this on. If you are sending fields, such as you know their first name, last name, contact information, just make sure you have field toggled on here. Then you will put in your URL. This is going to be the API call URL that you are sending data to. If you're working with a lead provider, this URL should be provided to you from them. If you're using something like Zapier, you will find it in your Zap um, within Zapier. Headers are not required, but if they are, this is where you will insert them. And then your payload type will be form or JSON, depending on what you are required to send. And from here, you just choose the shape data points you want to send from the list. So if we want to send first name and last name, let's do email and phone. Keep it simple. Then just copy these over. This is not required if you're posting directly. Uh, you'll want the data mapping to be the data mapping provided to you by your lead provider, or you can simply reach out to them for their data mappings as well and plug those in here. Once you're done, just hit save and continue, and you have your webhook in the system. Next thing you'll want to do is set up some automation so that Shape can automatically trigger that webhook based on where that file is in your process. So under sales and marketing, you will find automated actions or triggers. And depending on your template, you should have a folder in here called outbound webhooks. Right here, outbound external webhooks. And it'll have some basic ones in there for you to kind of follow along and plug in with your information. Well, let's go ahead and create a new one from the top. The step one action, this is going to be your if statement. So when this happens, you know, this is what triggers our automation to go off. So a common one would be, you know, if they hit the status of new, then we want it to do what? We want it to initiate an outbound webhook. And then we choose our webhook. We'll choose shape to Facebook. Then you will give your webhook trigger a name, something simple like shape to Facebook. And then you can add it to a folder for further organization. Always good to just add it to a trigger folder that has similar info. And then set your action schedule. Most commonly it's immediately, but you can delay it by a certain amount of time if needed. And once done, simply click save. It will add that trigger to your outbound webhook folder or whichever folder you put it in. And then you can simply just make sure that it is toggled on. Once it's on, anything that you know hits that status or whatever you set the trigger to be will initiate the outbound webhook from shape to the API call URL that you had input on your webhook. If you have any follow-up questions at all, let us know. We are more than happy to help, and we hope you have a great rest of your day.